All right, so welcome to another video. And today I basically want to talk about the MSP for your Metspa. And MSP basically stands for Marketing, Sales and Product. And if, in business, if you figure out your MSP, like your Marketing, Sales and Product, that's everything you need to know in order to be super profitable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visualize each step for you and how you can solve this for your own clinic. So you get great insights on what you can, like how you should look at the MSP of your business. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so the MSP for your clinic. Let's start with marketing first. So let me actually zoom in a bit on marketing. Let's just start with the foundations, right? So how we look at marketing, it's basically everything that you do to make the selling process easier later on. And what I mean with that is what you really want to achieve with marketing, basically, you know, establish yourself as the authority, become the go-to expert in your area. So whenever someone, you know, thinks of, okay, I need to get a treatment done, they will choose you because they already know, like, and trust you, right? And that's what you're basically going to establish with your marketing. How you're going to do it is you're going to establish multiple platforms, right? To make sure that you'll be seen as the go-to expert. So first of all, Instagram. So that's organic. This means posting educational videos, testimonial videos of your clients, staff photos, before and afters. You get the idea, right? The key here is to basically build your brand and get eyeballs on it and basically make sure that people see you and they know your team before they would even have that first appointment. You're basically going to do the same thing on Facebook here, right? And just so you know, what you can do is obviously you would probably have like a business profile for your clinic but you can also do this on your personal profile right that's what we are doing ourselves as well so we have a business profile for our company but we also do this on our own personal profile so you can do this and you can use the same content by the way and then basically the same thing for tiktok that's also a great platform to establish yourself as the authority youtube you could record like educational videos on youtube post them online you could even do podcasts right so in order to do to basically be a bit better than your competition you need to make that extra effort right so it all sounds very easy but people are still overlooking this part because they're only focusing on the sales here right but this actually helps you to convert even more leads here sell higher ticket and basically get better high quality clients so instagram facebook tiktok youtube podcasts but also offline marketing right so this is something that you're probably already doing a lot like you know flyers or even radio ads tv ads billboards this is mostly like the traditional kind of marketing that's why i put it in the bottom but yeah you get the idea right so basically what you want to establish with your marketing is make this selling easier here so after you solve marketing the next step is your sales process so the first step for your sales would be lead generation right so this is where you actually turn eyeballs into leads so you want to generate name phone and their email right so how you're going to do this is first of all pay that this is something that you know most med spas that I speak with are already doing a lot. You could do, for instance, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads. It's it all falls under the paid ads umbrella. And you need to figure out like what platform works best for you. And that's basically where you can, you know, basically generate leads at will. Because if you know, okay, I'm going to spend $100 per day, that will probably bring me, you know, 10 leads a day. Then you have predictability in your business, right? So that's basically when it comes to lead generation with paid ads. You could also do organic lead generation. Some good platforms for that are, for instance, you know, Google My Business, but also Facebook groups or your organic Facebook profile or your organic Instagram profile. Those are ways on how you can actually start conversations and generate free leads so this is a bit more time consuming in comparison to paid ads but it still works and if you really want to grow your business you should leverage this as well the organic lead generation now the third way of generating leads is basically by doing database reactivations what we personally recommend is you know sms is the best platform to do this so we have a proven sms framework you know that's super conversational and that actually gets people in your database back in the door right so you basically already put a lot of effort into building your database throughout the years and it's your easiest audience to sell to so what you want to do is you want to get them back in the door, right? Because it's your, your lowest hanging fruit. So you could be doing database reactivation through SMS and to email. That's basically what we uh, recommend doing. So next are referrals. So referrals are actually super easy to get, yet almost no one is actually asking for it, right? So you spend a lot of money to get new clients in the door. So the easiest way to get, you know, cheap new clients would be to actively ask them for referrals. Hey, do you have friends or do you have any people in your environment, you know, that would benefit from this treatment as well? Like they could get the same deal as you got, for instance. So this basically, you know, referrals is also a source of lead generation and you want to encourage your staff to do this and then another way of generating leads would be partnerships so you could partner up with other local businesses in your area that complement the services that you are offering so for instance if you offer body contouring you could be partnering up with gyms personal trainers 
even like dietists, you, you should think outside the box here, but you could think of, okay, how can I partner up with other local businesses that could potentially refer business to me? So that could also mean, for instance, like hotels, or it depends on your location as well. But so this is basically, you know, ways on how you can generate leads, like how you can, this is basically the first step for sales, right? So the next step is, okay, now you get these eyeballs from the leads. How are you going to convert them from just being interested to actually an in-house appointment? So you should have like a lead conversion protocol in place that includes, you know, text messages, Message, email follow-up, phone calls. You should actually have a phone call script in order to convert cold leads into consultations or introductory appointments, depending on what your strategy is. But that, that's basically what you cover with your lead conversion process, right? It's everything that you do to convert these people that you've generated as leads to get them to show up for a consultation. So now if you go to consultations, this is basically where the selling would happen, right? So this is where you're gonna sit down with a potential client or an existing client, and you know, you're gonna assess their needs and basically provide them with some options or just one option, what would be the best solution to their specific situation? So this is actually where you can charge high ticket for your treatment packages. And this, like the consultation strategy, it will become so much easier if your marketing is done correctly, because then the people that actually end up in a consultation, they would have already followed you on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, podcasts, or offline. They've already seen your before and afters. They've already seen your testimonials. They already know your staff because of all of the content that you're putting out there. And they basically pre-sold on you before they even show up for the appointment. So that's the whole purpose of the marketing, right? So you should have a consultation strategy that at least converts at like 40%. So every lead that comes in, out of the 10 leads that come in, you would need to sell at least four packages. That's industry average. And then like after the consultation happened, the majority will probably not buy a big package like at the first, like at the consultation itself. So you would also need to have like a post consultation follow up plan. This is also something that you can basically systemize, right? So you should have a protocol in place that your staff should follow. So what can I do to after the consultation to make sure that, you know, that person is basically going to buy into my expensive treatment packages. What can I do to be, to be a bit better than my competition? What can I do extra that is, you know, low in cost for me, but high in value for the potential client. And then obviously also upselling, right? So after someone bought from you the first package or the first treatment, you now wanna make sure that they, you know, are basically gonna be upsold into your memberships or in your next treatment package. You wanna keep them in the loop, right? So you wanna maximize the revenue that you, that you get from them throughout the years. All right, so now we discussed marketing and sales. The next step is to discuss product. And I think product speaks for itself, right? It's basically how you deliver services to your clients. This is basically, you know, the combination of your treatments, if you sold them a package, it usually is like a combination of different treatments. Or if you do any specific services, or you could even add in, you know, skincare products. What it basically comes down to is, you know, the overall experience that someone would get after they bought from you. Because the goal here is, you know, the client satisfaction, right? So if someone would drop 5K at your clinic, you want to make sure that they are happy, like the client satisfaction. So how can you optimize your product in order to make sure that, you know, the client satisfaction is high? That's where you can get creative. If your treatments, your service, your skincare products, how can you tailor a package to someone's specific needs in order for them to achieve their desirable result, right? So that's basically what you want to do here. And the most important metric here is obviously profitability as well. Some treatments are just way more profitable than, um, than other treatments so you want to aim for a strategy that basically leverages your most profitable treatments here that's what you want to optimize for that's what you want to optimize your marketing and your sales process for because there's no you like the goal of being in business is obviously to make money right that's why you should look at this as okay what treatments can i promote that are basically you know most profitable for me that's what you're going to solve here with the product and that's basically how these three different divisions work together and if you solve this for your clinic so it's, it all comes down to your marketing, your sales, and your product. If you systemize everything and have something that works, you'll definitely be super profitable. And that's basically how you can solve the MSP for your clinic, your med spa, right? And this doesn't only apply for the aesthetics industry, it applies for every business out there. If you solve your MSP, then you're basically set up for success if you execute on it consistently. So yeah, I hope you got some value out of today's training. If you have any questions or video suggestions, let me know in the comments so I can work on it. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.